Hey everybody, it's Dave here from Dragon Hill Games and I'm back at you with another Modern Horizons 2 box opening this video. This time we're going to open a Modern Horizons 2 set booster box. That's right. And this is also another sponsored video. Again, thanks to Robert S for stepping up to the plate. And in case you missed it, we did do a video on the buy a box promo, which of course is a foil sort of old border looking sanctum prelate. Really nice. Make sure you talk to your LGS about getting your buy a box promo when you purchase a sealed box of Modern Horizons 2. I am really excited to be doing another Modern Horizons 2 box opening video. And of course, all of this stuff is going to belong to Robert S. So thanks again for sponsoring this video and he will get all of this stuff included in this box upon set release. Okay, let's get right into this Modern Horizons 2 set booster box. All right, this is the new Planeswalker. I forget her name, I think it's like Gaedrone or something like that. So of course you get one art card in every pack. It was upside down, so here we have our regular basic land. And then we have a Lightning Sphere. We'll go through the first few packs a little bit slower because it's a brand new set and I'm sure you're all very excited to see what is contained in these packs. Here we have a Mind Collapse, a Battle Plan, and usually these set boosters are themed in some sort of way. So here we also have a Shattered Ego, another common, and a Blazing Root Walla, our first uncommon from this pack. We have a Rakdos Headliner, and a Necromancer's Familiar. Okay, pretty awesome. Here we have a Necro Goyf. So a new Goyf to add to one of the collection. Of course, we have Lurgoyf and then Termagoyf to go along with them. We have two black and three for a star four creature Lurgoyf. Necro Goyf's power is equal to the number of creature cards in all graveyards. Seems like it'll be pretty good for Commander. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player discards a card, and of course it has Madness. You can play it for its Madness card if you happen to discard it. We also have Upheaval, a very expensive sorcery. Return all permanents to their owner's hands for six mana. Wow. And then we have an Old Border Terminal Agony. Really nice looking Old Border card there. And our foil for the pack, and you do get a guaranteed foil in every pack of set boosters, is Urban Dagger Tooth. Okay, we have a Crab Token. Pretty good start for our set booster box opening video, I must say. And of course, unfortunately, there's no real good way to open these packs without kind of giving away that there will be a list card at the back. So we're excited to see that. There is the list for this set. We have a foil island, we'll put that right up there. Hard evidence, a crack open, a parcel mirror, mirror are big and back in Modern Horizons 2, a Floodhound, then we have a Burdened Aerialist, another Pirate, here we have a Ren's Run Hydra, uncommon, a Profane Tutor, and if you missed the pre-release opening video we did earlier to this, I'll put that up there so you can check it out. Robert scored a, a promo Profane Tutor in one of his pre-release kits. So really sweet there. Profane Tutor has Suspend. Of course, Suspend is big in Modern Horizons 2. For one black and one, Suspend 2. And basically, Demonic Tutor. Pretty decent card. Everyone loves Tutors. We have a Timeless Dragon, a Gorilla Shaman, and then we have an Old Border Blazing Root Walla. Of course, our foil for this set is a, or for this particular pack, is a Tragic Fall. So what's this? An instant target creature gets minus three, minus three until end of turn. Hellbent, that creature gets minus 13, minus 13 until end of turn if you have no cards in hand. Okay, and then we have a Voldalian Illusionist Merfolk as our hit from the list. Pretty exciting, okay. A lot of awesome cards in the set. Like I was saying in the pre-release, uh, opening video there's man there's some really i mean the prices are kind of what they are at the beginning of a set but there is some really really high priced powerful cards in this set and it's very interesting to see what's going to happen to the modern meta now that all of this awesome stuff is in it steel dromedary there congratulations robert your first fetch land we got a veridant catacombs really nice and of course these are reprinted 
in Modern Horizons 2. So really good hit there. An Angelic Curator, these awesome looking sort of art type cards, like almost like a sketch or something like that. World Wary. Then we have Abundant Harvest as a foil and a treasure token. Wow, really nice to see that Verde Catacombs. Always going to be good to have more fetch lands in the format or just in the game in general, that is for sure. They are always in very high demand, of course. Scoured the Desert. We have a Soul Talisman. I really like this. This is a suspend um, for three and or suspend three for one. And then you can tap it to add two colorless mana to your mana pool. Really good card. I'm sure it will end up in a fair bit of commander decks. And we have Tavern, a Scoundrel as the foil, and a Squirrel token. Okay. Super exciting. I want to hear what you guys have to think about this Modern Horizons 2 set. What do you think it's going to do to the format? Why don't you let me know in the comments section below? Of course, we have Counterspell now in Modern, right? That's been, uh, there we have a foil mythic, so I think that's our first mythic hit. We have Solitude. This is a brand new card with evoke, a bunch of these sort of evoke uh, cards. So I think there's one for each color. So two white and three, we have a creature, elemental incarnation. It's a three, two flash lifelink. And when Solitude enters the battlefield, exile up to one other target creature. That creature's controller gains life equal to its power. So swords to plowshares sort of on a stick. And then we have Territorial Kavu, a rare in the old border format. Really nice, another cool hit. We have a Milliken, a Jade Avenger, an Angelic Curator foil, and our list hit is a Nuisance Engine. A little bit of a nuisance that we got that list card. Wanna see something pretty awesome. To be honest with you, I haven't really checked out the list on this set, so not sure what is available in those list slots. Okay, we'll start picking things up a little bit here. We've got a Break the Ice. Okay, Jared Ferris Rockerick. Okay, nice little rare from that hit there. Another Piru the Volt Volatile. Piru the Volatile. So another old border looking rare. Then we have a Chainer Nightmare out of three rares in a row. A Galvanic Relay in the old border format. And a Deepwood Denzian. Sort of info card there. Okay. Yeah, this is, is a totally amazing set. Man, oh man. S bunch of bonkers stuff. Like this is, uh, we, we are, I, like I'm pre-sold out on these um, set boosters. This is definitely one everybody was after was the set boosters. Crazy possessed looking squirrel there. All right. Okay, here we go. All right, we have an out of time as the rare, so a three mana enchantment when out of time enters the battlefield, untap all creatures, and then phase them out until out of time leaves the battlefield. Put a time counter on out of time for each creature phased out this way, and then of course it has a vanishing. Here we have a vindicate, okay, a blossoming calm, and a foil bottle gnomes bird tokens. Fix up Robert's piles a little bit here, try to keep some sort of organization going on. Couple, three more packs for this first stack. Man, this set is so exciting. Go through these packs really fast. Wow. Okay. Alrighty, let's get down to the good stuff. Okay, Leonin or Legion Vanguard. Then we have a Thought Monitor. All right. Wow, look at that. That is a really nice looking borderless counter spell. Amazing. We were just talking about that being back up here in Modern. So pretty cool looking card there. I suppose we'll just put that maybe up with or alongside the foils here. All right. Then we have an Ornithopter of Paradise. And we have a foil captured by Legex. All right. Put this in the foil pile. Food token. Wow, that counterspell looks pretty amazing. What do you guys think of this set? I mean, I already asked that, but geez, I really do want to know. This is one crazy, crazy set. Okay. Here we go, we have a Flame Blitz, a Flame Tongue Yearling, Thrabin, a Watcher, then we have Rise and Shine as a Rare, okay, a Seal of Removal, a Flame Tongue Yearling in that sort of art, sort of um, sketch type look, and then a Cabal Initiate as a Foil. Last pack, first stack, I think you're doing all right, Robert. That counter spell's cool, yeah. Really interesting that that is up here in modern now. I love these little barons, these gilder guys. Okay, here we go. Faithless salvaging. 
Alrighty, we have a Fodder Tosser. Love it. Love it. That is an awesome name. Then we have a Road to Ruin. A pretty cool looking uncommon card there. A Dress Down as a Rare. Then we have a Fire and Ice. Okay. Sweet. That is also a rare. Okay. A couple of rares in a row there. There we have Glimmer Baron. Like I said, these little Baron guys, they're so cute. Look at him. He's amazing. And then the Soul of Migration as a foil. Okay, let's get on to the next stack. All right. Oh, looks like we're going to have another list card. That's always a good thing. Supposed to be usually about one in every three packs, give or take. So there we have another crazy looking squirrel art card. All right. Some uncommons. Sylvan Anthem. So what does this do? This is two green for an enchantment. Green creatures you control get plus one, plus one. And whenever a green creature enters the battlefield under your control, scry one. Seems all right. Wow, Chatterfang Squirrel General as a borderless. Nice. Nice mythic hit there. I think he's got some, uh, some value behind him too. So we have one green and two for a legendary Squirrel Warrior. He's a 3-3 Squirrel. Amazing. Like, that's the same power toughness as some of the beasts around. Wow. Forest Walk. If one or more tokens would be created under your control, those tokens plus that many 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature tokens are created instead. And you can pay a black to sacrifice X squirrels. Target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn. Another nice borderless hit there. Put him right up there. Then we have a Chance Encounter Rare, a Lens Flare, and then we have a Foil Blacksmith's Skill. Sweet. And our list hit was a Walking Archive. So it's a rare from, I think that's Guild Pact. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that is Guild Pact. Okay. Wow, that was exciting. I'm still shaking. That Chatterfang guy is really sweet. Some sort of Angel Art card. Then we have an Island. Get through this stuff here. Okay. Uh, I'm really excited about uh, some of the cards in the set, though. I'm wondering what they're going to do to the format. Like that, I think his name's like Ragnavan or something. Academy a Manufacturer. He is really exciting. I love Mono Red Aggro decks, so I'm looking forward to maybe uh, putting him in a deck for sure. Here, our foil is an Arc Bound Tracker and then a, a Goblin Token. Yeah, and then there's like the Torbram guy is really sweet. I think he can uh, definitely go into some sort of Jun deck for sure. Maybe some kind of Jun mid-range deck or something. There's a lot of new and interesting stuff. I really do think this set is going to shake up the format. It will be exciting when we can start actually playing it again. It's been a year and a half since I played Modern in my store. It was always one of the biggest formats. Uh, we have a Lonest Cryptozoologist. Okay, that's a cool looking rare there. Then we have Counterspell and a Gargadon. And a Foil Squirrel Sovereign. Ooh, and an Urborg Panther as a list card. Nice. Summon Night Stalker. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we got a bunch of videos coming up. We have uh, some sponsored, a bunch of sponsored box opening videos. So we have, uh, you know, Collector Booster, Draft Booster, all the goodies. Bundles, uh, everything. Everything. Karth the Lion. So make sure you guys are staying tuned for that. Obsidian Charma. Okay, then we have Yavamaya Elders. Nice reprint there. Road to a Ruin in this sort of art looking. And then a So Shiny Foil card. Beast. Man, that card. So shiny, eh? Wow. Okay. Yeah, so make sure you're staying tuned, like I said, for all of the awesome box opening Modern Horizons 2 stuff we have coming up. So this Faithless Salvaging, is this a good card? For two mana, we have an instant, discard a card, then draw a card, and it has a rebound. Okay, do you think that's actually going to get play? I'm not so sure. All right. Oh, good for you. We have Sword of Hearth and Home. So what does this one do? It's three mana. It's an artifact equipment. A equipped creature gets plus two plus two and has protection from green and white. And whenever a equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, exile up to one target creature you own, then search your library for a basic land card, put both of those cards onto the battlefield under your control, and then shuffle equipped two. Interesting new sword, and we have a also a mythic Mirari's Wake. Okay, and then we have an arrow, a arrow amoeba, 
Aromiba in the old border treatment. Wow, Scion of Draco as a foil. Good for you, man. 12 mana artifact dragon. He's a 4-4 with domain. This spell costs 2 less to cast for each basic land type among lands you control. It has flying and each creature you control has vigilance if it's white, hexproof if it's blue, lifelink if it's black, first strike if it's red, and trample if it's green. Really nice foil hit there in Scion of Draco. Awesome. Doing okay, I think, with your set booster box, Robert. Here we go. Another art token. Okay, let's get things right through here a little bit. Lots of packs still to go. This is an awesome, awesome set. Misty Rainforest. So two fetch lands already in this box. Misty Rainforest, and of course earlier we had Veridant Catacombs. Really, really nice. Solitary Confinement as another rare. And Goblin Arc Ar and Narcomancer. Goblin and Narcomancer. Okay, and then a foil hell mongrel. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, you are doing well, I would say, Robert. Two fetch lands so far, really, really solid. Okay, I believe that is uh, some form of white dragon. Has a cool name too. Uh, can't think of it off the top of my head. We will continue. All right, here we have Sanctuary Raptor, a tireless provisioner, Priest of Fell Rites. So, Orzov Colored Human Warlock, he's a 2-2, and you can tap him, pay three life, sacrifice Priest of Fell Rites. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate this only as a sorcery. And then, of course, he has Unearth. Patchwork Gnomes. We have World Weary again and a Foil Breathless Knight Squirrel token. Amazing. Yes, this has been fantastic. I see why everybody is after the set booster boxes. Holy cow. All right. Foil Mountain. Get down to some of the better stuff here. Wow, lots of uncommons in this pack. Since they're themed, you can kind of get, you know, all kinds of different rarities in these packs. Here we have Urza Saga. So this is one of the rare sagas from this set. Step one is it uh, Urza Saga gains tap and add a colorless mana. Step two is Urza, Urza Saga gains two tap, create a zero zero colorless construct artifact creature token. With this creature gets plus one, plus one for each artifact you control. And finally, step three, a search your library for an artifact cost with mana cost zero or one. Put it onto the battlefield and shuffle. Interesting to see if that will get any play. Wow. Amazing. That is cool looking. An old border profane tutors. You're going to have a play set of these things, man. Good for you, Robert. Then we have Zurin Orb. Of course, that's a reprint. Mind Collapse, and a Foil Foul Watcher. Okay. Sweet. Couple more packs for this deck. You are doing just fine. I Like I said, I see why everybody's after these set boosters. Really good value, I think. Even though this set is a little bit crazy in terms of the price point. Wizards just keeps upping the ante as far as price go. Yes? Let me know what you guys think of that in the comments below. Thought Monitor Rare, then we have a Mog Salvage, a Prismatic Ending, and then a Foil a Dusk Shell Crawler. So, oh, and we also have a Brain Freeze, nice. So that's a decent card getting reprinted there on the list. Yeah, these packs are a little bit hit and miss though, right? I mean, for the price of these things, really kind of bomb out, but there's some, some really, I guess it's the lottery ticket. Right, sort of, sort of like collector booster. It's always going to be a bit of a lottery ticket on this higher end stuff. Okay, combine chrysalis of batterbone. We have suspend. So what does suspend do? For one blue, it's an instant. Exile target creature and put two time counters on it. If it doesn't have suspend, it gains suspend. Interesting. Then we have greed, and we have a jade avenger, a step through foil, and some sort of info card. All right, last stack. Let's continue on with the awesome hits. And we're going to get a list out of this pack, so really cool. All right. Yeah, here we go. Okay, another profane tutor. Congratulations on your playset. Between this set booster box and what you got in your pre release kits, you now are the proud owner of a playset of Profane Tutors. Here we have Sterling Grove, a Terminal Agony in that old border treatment, a Prismatic Ending Foil, and from the list we got Light Up the Stage. That was a huge card in Standard at the time. Yeah, Light Up the Stage. Keep that red deck just going. Okay. 
land over there we go okay down to the uncommons healers flock we have a zabaz of the glimmer wasp okay so for one man we have a legendary artifact creature he's an insect zero zero he's modular one if a modular trigger ability would put one or more plus one plus one counters on a creature you control that many plus one plus one counters are put on instead and of course for red he can destroy target artifact you control and for white he gains flying until end of turn. Interesting new commander prospect there. We have a Brea's Apprentice, an Extruder, and a Phantasmal Dreadmaw. Our foil is a Torox Canticle. Torox Canticle. All right, interesting. Be careful how you say that one. It could definitely come out wrong. Okay. Here we go. Oh, there's one of those signed art cards. There is one of those every once in a while in a pack. So there we got a good look at that gold embossed signed art card. Always nice to see those as well. Okay. Here we go. Uh, yes. Goblin Trap Runner. There's we go. That's the Timeless Dragon. That's right. So that was the art card we saw earlier that I couldn't think of the name of. Cursed Totem for two mana. Active and my camera died there, so we are back. Yes, I was saying Cursed Totem, activated abilities of creatures can't be activated for two mana. We have a Faithless Salvaging in that sort of alternate art format and a Foundry Helix Foil. Okay, continuing. <laughs> These packs are not that friendly to open. That's kind of been a running theme with the last few Magic sets. We'll try to be careful with Robert's cards here. There we go. Alrighty. Some of these art cards are upside down too, which is really weirding me out. Okay. Here we go. We have a Terramorph, Uncommon, a Blessed Respite, Verdant Command, which I really like this card. It's one green and one for an instant, and you choose two. Target player creates two tapped 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature tokens. You can counter target loyal, loyalty ability of a Planeswalker, exile target card from a graveyard, or target player gains three life. And we have a seal of removal, a monoskeleton, monoskeleton, okay, and then smell fear as a foil. A few more packs to go. Congratulations on those fetch lands. Yes, those were really nice and two of the better ones to get, of course. I mean, actually, all of the fetch lands uh, in this set are going to be good. These were the higher end ones, right? Okay, here we go. We have a dam. What does dam do? Destroy a target creature. A creature destroyed this way cannot be regenerated. And then you can overload it, overload it to destroy all creatures. Archon of Cruelty. So another nice mythic there. Big flying 6-6 six, six black dragon. And we have a counter spell. Oh, and a gal galvanic relay. And then a glimpse of tomorrow. So a foil glimpse of tomorrow. This thing has suspend three for two red mana and you shuffle all permanents you own into your library. Then reveal that many cards from the top of your library. Put all non aura permanents revealed this way onto the battlefield. Then do the same for aura cards. Then put the rest of them on the bottom of your library in a random order. Interesting glimpse of tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, this has been a decent box for sure, Robert. I'm, uh, I'm happy for you, man. Okay, here we go. All right, that's an interesting looking art card there. Let's get to some of the goodies. Okay, Scuttle Tide. Interesting. Dothi Avoid Walker. Okay, we have Quarian Rangers. Nice to see that as a reprint. Late to dinner. Then we have a Foil Mind Collapse and a Storm Entity as a list hit there. Okay. Wow, this set booster box, yes, amazing. So there's that Glimmer whatever bee guy. Glimmer Wasp or whatever his name is. Really cool looking potential new legendary. Brainstone. So this is, uh, what, Brainstorm, I suppose, on a artifact? One mana for an artifact. You pay two and sacrifice Brainstone. Draw three cards and put two cards from, the, from your hand on top of your library in any order. All right, we have a Calibrated Blast as a rare and a Patchwork Gnomes, followed by a Marble Gargoyle and a Foil Unbound Potential. We've got three more packs here to go. Good luck, Robert. Okay. Another look at that art card there. Pretty amazing. Foil Forest. Okay. 
Brainstone. There we have a Nettle Cyst. Okay. We have a Chainer, a Nightmare Adept, a Rakdos Headliner, and then a Foil Hard Evidence, followed by a Clue Token. Mm -hmm. Some sort of zombie dude. Okay. Do to do. -do. Prophetic Titan, Altar of the Goyf. What is Altar of the Goyf? Five mana for a tribal artifact, Lurgoyf. Interesting. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, it gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of card types among cards in all graveyards. Interesting. Lurgoyf creatures you control have trample. Pretty cool. There's Piru the Volatile, and we have an in, in Ignoble Hierarch. Ignoble Hierarch. Interesting. Another new, um, very similar to like Noble Hierarch, right? Except uh, this guy adds black, red, or green. He also has Exalted, and he is a one green mana for a Goblin Shaman. So really cool. I think he's going to be probably one of the biggest cards out of this set. We have Patriarchs bidding as another rare, a Floodhound in that alt art sort of format, and a Mog Salvage Boil. Okay, good hit there in that pack for sure. That new Hierarch is uh, a big deal, and he is going to be making a splash in Modern. I guarantee that. So, last pack. Good luck, Robert. I think your box was pretty amazing. All right, let's go through this one a little bit slower. Disciple of the Sun, Piercing Rays, a Soul of Migration, Fairgrounds Patrol. We have a Marble Gargoyle, a Filigree Attendant, Murktide Regent. That's interesting. That is very interesting because the last pack on his last pre-release kit was also a Murktide Regent. So, pretty cool there. A Gorilla Shaman. So, one red mana for an Ape Shaman. He's a 1-1. One, one. You can pay double X and 1 to destroy a target non-creature artifact with mana value X. And then we have an Ornithopter of Paradise. And finally, to finish things off, a foil lightning sphere food token thank you so much for sponsoring this video robert if you guys enjoy this video make sure you smash that like button it really helps me out and we'll see you again soon for a bunch more modern horizons 2 box opening videos bye for now